So it's just a simple thing that you can use. And yeah, you know what? There's free visualizers, there's free ways to make things and do it more manually. The reason I love Visibel and that I think you should pay 10 or $15 for whatever it is in your country to buy it is that, yeah, it's all there on iOS. If you're an iOS creator and you've got, you create your album artwork on like Over or Canva, you've got your audio file from Audio Share, you just throw those both into Visibel, do some tweaking, hit export, and then you got it. But what Visible is, is a visualization creation tool. So this means that you can throw a song in here and then you can use pre predetermined templates or you can use, uh, you, know, you can customize and make your own things here. But the whole idea here is if we come here to my projects and we just grab another one that I've done here. So if we just find no apologies, here, this is the sort of thing you can create. You can put your album artwork there. You can put a background image. You can put these waveforms and you can create yourself a high quality, high resolution video that you can then share on Facebook, YouTube, a whole bunch of places. I just released my new single and I'll show you that in a moment. That was created here in Visibel. So this is the tune, no apologies. And you can see that uh, if we hit play, it will have our waveform there and it plays along. And I'm running. So how much better does that look, having something like this that you can put out there instead of just a static image? And your background sort of morphs in and out. There's some cool effects and you can dial all of that in down here. And as you would have seen before, there's a bunch of different themes there as well. So you can come into the theme browser and you can start with a different theme and create anything. Oop, I've just, I've just made it a goat. There you go. Uh, now I have a goat. <laughs> I'm gonna come back to this and go, oh, I, wanted to, I wanna use the template I used for, for, um, for no apologies and then realize it's a goat, so go figure. Um, so let's uh, very quickly, so I'll show you the sort of things it can produce. If I come over to, oops, I'm using my wrong mouse. I've got all the mices, all the mouses and the mices going on here. So uh, for instance, just right here on my very own YouTube channel, uh, yesterday I released a new song and uh, it's a song called Murdering Time or Murdering Time, whichever way you want to look at it. Um, so if we come in here, this was really easy because I was literally sitting around and in the space of maybe uh, an hour, um, I, I was able to tweak the settings on Visibel and create myself uh, this particular video. So if we come here, we'll drop, jump back over here. So this is what it is. I uploaded it to YouTube and we can come in here and play this now. And there you go. It's a nice thing. I've got the album artwork there designed by Jade Star. Thank you to you, Jade, for doing that. And it just works, right? So it's just a simple thing that you can use. And yeah, you know what? There's free visualizers, there's free ways to make things and do it more manually. The reason I love Visibel and that I think you should pay 10 or $15 for whatever it is in your country to buy it is that, yeah, it's all there on iOS. If you're an iOS creator and you've got, you create your album artwork on like Over or Canva, you've got your audio file from Audio Share, you just throw those both into Visibel, do some tweaking, hit export, and then you got it. You can upload it wherever you want. So Visibel for the win in my particular opinion. And there you go. Jade Star's in here and says, uh, check out the new single Murdering Time there.